first amendment of the United States Constitution says, Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof, or abridging the freedom of speech or of the press or of the right of the people to peaceably assemb assemble, and petition the government for a redress of grievances. Due to the recent infestation of spitting llamas, the court has been moved to an undisclosed location. Several parents in Wisconsin who belong to the nonconformist conservative Amish religion were prosecuted and convicted for violating a state statute. That statute, known as School Compulsory Attendance Law, required that children attend school until the age of 16. After the children left the 8th grade, their parents did not want them to attend the local high school and be part of the general society. Their parents believed in a religion-oriented society separated from the world and its customs. Their society centered around a life of farming and prohibited telephones, television, radios, and automobiles. Um, personally, I don't think my son needs any more education. He 
He's had enough. Now he needs to learn the customs and traditions of our community so that he can run his own, own household when he is married. Ew, that's gross. Shut up, boy. Honey! Oh, Wyatt! <clears throat> Closing statement? Your Honor, like I've been saying this whole time, my client here should not be forced to attend school and that interferes with his lifestyle. He will be receiving an education at home as it is, learning their lifestyle and everything they do, even without electricity and water, running water and stuff like that. But anyways, and they'll be able to live happily in their own society. I don't believe that there should be any exceptions to the compulsory attendance law. It is my belief that every cheese, it should have an education for generations to come. Short recess before the ruling is given. But I don't need a plea. The court is ruling in favor of Wisconsin and the cheese heads. This court is adjourned. <laughs> it's adjourned! Adjourned? What is you that? Wait, we didn't win. This case was appealed, and the Supreme Court found that the Free Exercise Clause of the First Amendment was a good reason not to enforce the Wisconsin statute among the Amish. It should be noted, however, that the education of the Amish youth did not end when they left the public school in the eighth grade. They were continually trained to become useful citizens in their Amish community. This has been Lola Moffat with the case of Wisconsin versus Yoder of 1972.